Hello and welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for waiting on me. I had a little malfunction where my computer completely broke. Long story short, I ended up like deleting a bunch of really important software information because I found this like hidden folder on my Mac that's kind of hidden so you don't delete it. And I was like, this is a suspicious folder, deleted it. It contained all the software information for my laptop. So that was really fun. I was dealing with that for a little while, but now I'm back, my laptop is working so I can still edit my videos. And also last week I was in Paris. I spent three days in the UK around Birmingham where my friend lives and then three days in Paris. It was a press trip with L'Oreal Luxe. I got to go and visit the factories for L'Oreal where they make all the fragrances, learn about the new launches, smell some raw materials. It was a really fun time and really cool great learning experience. If you want a video on that I can definitely do so. Today's video I want to focus on some fragrances that I fell in love with when I was in Paris because there were so many fragrances that I smelled. I think one of the days I had about like five hours in between gigs and my hotel was really close to a ton of perfume shops so I got to go to a ton of perfume stores and I also bought a few fragrances. So I want to show you what I got and talk about some of the fragrances that I fell in love with in Paris. A little backstory. I've been in a little bit of a perfume slump lately. I've been finding it hard to find a lot of fragrances that I've liked. And if you follow me on TikTok, you've seen a ton of reviews lately of perfumes that I just like don't like. Like I'll get perfumes and smell them and I just haven't really been impressed by any new launches lately. This week, it has really turned around. I've found a ton of fragrances that have really impressed me. So I figured I'd make a video on it because I really haven't had perfumes to talk about lately because literally nothing has been impressing me. So first thing I want to talk about a brand that I saw on TikTok through a creator named Elise. She is really sweet. She has a great sense of style. Her videos are very calming and I just like trust her. She made a video on this brand called Da Nam. They're a Vietnamese fragrance brand that makes fragrances inspired by Vietnamese culture, places in Vietnam, etc. And she was talking about some of their fragrances and I that night went on my computer and went to order them. They only shipped to the US and so I was like really sad. And then I get home and I see that they sent me PR. So the world happens in crazy ways. So I got their sample set and I got their full size of their Vietnamese coffee scent. Look at how pretty this is. First of all, the fragrance Vietnamese coffee. I'm actually wearing it right now. This is a tonka bean chocolate heavy fragrance. This is coffee without being too sour. It smells like, it smells very strongly of coffee, like dark roast cold brew. I smell cold brew. I do get I do get chocolate in it and it's funny because the cold brew either smells like cold brew or if I'm thinking chocolate it smells like chocolate but either way it's very coffee like in a way that I haven't really smelled before I would say overall it's not my favorite because there is kind of like a woodiness that I get from it but I could see myself liking it over time a little more I don't dislike it by any means I just don't think it's something that I'm gonna reach for very much but it was something that really interested me so this one was very cool um, other than that I would like to show you one fragrance that was by them that I love there's one fragrance in here that I smelled and fell in love with and it was actually called white rice now I'll just hold this up I only have the sample so white rice is a oris musk oris and rice scent i think it's musk oris and rice it's this really fluffy almost lactonic milky scent that's ricey and i really like gourmands that are savory um if you like l'eau de papier from diptyque if you like another 13 these like fresh skin like scents this is so good it's one of the best ones i've smelled and the rice note adds like a savory quality which you don't get much and it's funny because it's gourmand without being sweet like it's gourmand like savory it smells like rice there's a bit of a starchy glutinous smell to it that's not too much like i know in rl shashanda sunday that's a like a toasted rice and i find that one very starchy that like when i smell it it almost catches my throat like my throat feels dry smelling it but this one i don't get that at all it's just the most beautiful musky fluffy rice scent and i've been wearing it for the past two days straight and i'm very much enjoying it i think i might have to upgrade and get a full bottle soon because i just have the sample right now so first of all i just want to touch on a fragrance real quick that i talked about in one of my youtube shorts and my tiktoks this is a fragrance that didn't used to be a fragrance it used to be only a candle and i have it in candle form but they finally launched it in fragrance form and this is the new carby musk by drake if you know the lore about this basically drake has this perfumer named Michael Carby. Basically, Michael Carby met Drake. He's a perfumer. He does a lot of the Bath and Body Works candle. He's a phenomenal perfumer and he made Drake a signature scent and it was Carby Musk, named after Michael Carby and it was a musk scent. Drake used to wear this all the time. It was his signature scent and he wouldn't release it to the masses because it was only made just for him from Michael Carby. Drake, when he made Better World Fragrance House, released the fragrance as a candle. So you can burn the candle and it'll smell like Drake is in the room with you, but you couldn't actually buy the perfume yourself. The candle is really nice. I bought it myself. And so they launched it finally in a perfume oil. So this is Drake's signature scent. This is what Drake smells like. And I smelled it before because I have the candle. This is like a laundry musk scent. It's kind of similar to 1111. 
it's really potent and very powerful i know people were saying like it's kind of expensive for 10 milliliters of perfume oil but honestly this is a really long lasting it actually projects super well it's very clean smelling gender neutral like this smells like laundry and fresh air this is not what i'd expect him to smell like but basically yeah he launched it as his perfume and they sent it to me which was really cool and i'm actually really happy about it because i was wanting this as a perfume these ones are also super super new to my collection this is from a brand called loey or life on earth they're a i think korean american korean brand they have lazy vanilla eau de toilette and peach and tea i did get a chance to wear them and skin test them and i quite liked one of them this peach and tea scent I put it on last night and it is quite good. Peach is really hard to do and this is like like opening up a peach on a spring day. It smells more like a nectarine than a peach. It's juicy, like I can smell. I'm salivating. I'm literally salivating. This makes me crave a peach. It's so juicy and I love tea because tea is so calming and fresh. And, and this, it smells so good. It's, it smells soapy, like something I would, like I'm sudsing up a soap and it's bubbling, you know? Yeah, and there's like a little bit of a greenness to it that I'm liking. Either way, I don't actually know all the notes of this off the top of my head, but this is a really pretty springy peach scent. It says Eau de Toilette, but I do find that I do get good longevity with it, surprisingly. I like this more than the By Rosie Jane one, but it's still in the, in the same category of that peach or pear scent from By Rosie Jane. It's like within that category, but if, to me, this is done a lot better. Finally, I want to show you some fragrances from a brand called Celine. I actually visited their store in Paris. It was one of the coolest stores I've ever seen because it, I just walked in and there was this mirror full of Celine bottles. Now, I discovered Celine when I was back in studying at Isipka last summer. I remember seeing them in Le Bon Marché and they had all the different Celine scents and I got to go smell them. There's actually one of the girls in my program that I studied with. She wore a Celine scent and she brought it to class and I smelled it from her and I was like, I actually didn't really like it, but she was telling me Celine has the best perfumes, you have to smell them. When I got to the store and they had the Celine ones, I tried them out and this perfume I fell in love with when I put it on my skin. So when I went back to Paris and I saw a Celine store, I was ready to buy. I had been thinking about this perfume for so long. I go into the store, I spray it on myself first, of course, to just double check that I like it. It's so good. And I haven't actually taken it out of the packaging yet. This is, this is Black Tie by Celine. She is so beautiful and I'm so excited to have her. It's so funny because I came in, I was smelling their fragrances. I knew I wanted Black Tie and so I got it. The guy started wrapping it up for me. Right as he was gone wrapping up the perfume for me, I sprayed a different perfume on myself and I was like, wait, do I actually want to buy a different perfume instead? But I ended up going with Black Tie because I knew I wanted it and I knew that if I didn't get it, I would still be thinking about it. Whereas this new perfume, I like just smelled and I would, I didn't want to be too spontaneous and regret it, so I ended up getting this one, but I will tell you about the other one in a second. Look at her! This is Black Tie by Celine in all of her glory. To me, this perfume is beautiful. It is perfection, it is soft, it is delicate, it is sweet, it is signature scent worthy, it is gorgeous. And it's so funny because to me, Black Tie sounds so formal. Like I think of Tuxedo from Mycelle, which is like a very strong patchouli scent. This perfume is more warm and inviting. And I think there's something kind of constipated sometimes about other like formal fragrances this one i think is so like dainty and pretty the bottle is somewhat ribbed here i feel like i can smell it already my goodness gracious okay i'm just gonna put it on <sighs> this perfume is so pretty this is a irisy vanilla it's vanilla, but it's just a hint buttery and powdery. The atomizer is like beautiful. And the glass. The sound. This is a more intimately projecting fragrance. It's not gonna like fill a room and make someone run away from you. It's it's a lot more like subdued and polite, I'd say. Especially because it does have that auris in here, which is, I'd say just like overall a gentle note. It's a very gentle formula. Originally, I got a lot of the cedar when I sprayed it on myself just now, but it's mostly this warm vanilla auris scent that makes me feel, it's funny, you know how some people will say, this will smell like my mom or this smells like my grandma and they mean it in a weird way. And this, there's nothing about this that smells old or grandma-y in that general like floral aldehydic, you know, Chanel number no. five scents. But there's something like maternal about this to me. It makes me think of like being held 
or like being comforted there's something about this like especially like when i smelled it over the summer it's been several months since i've smelled it but it just smells so homely you know home homey i guess that it just i just felt comfortable whipping my card out of my wallet to spend way too much money on this but i really like it and i'm glad i love it just as much since i brought it home oh and i can't wait to wait to wear it today now when I was there, there was one other fragrance that I smelled and I fell in love with and it was called Don Paris, which is like in Paris. This was a more gourmand scent. I would say it's probably the most gourmand scent that Celine has. I'm just gonna hold this just cause, but Don Paris is like a, it's a like lemony vanilla scent. There's a note of coriander, which I don't smell and a note of laurel blossom, which I actually don't really know what that smells like. But to me, it smelled like this like lemony gourmand, but it didn't smell like acro bake. It didn't smell like, it didn't smell like Zerjaf Lira. It didn't smell like any of the lemon gourmands market but it was just like a fresh gourmand oh people compared it to queer beluga from guerlain and vini 44 from oh and vanilla sex oh you guys i still want to buy that don't he scent. and i asked them when i bought this i was like can you give me some samples and he said yeah so he gave me some samples but he didn't give me samples of that perfume he only gave me samples of the other ones which was so annoying so i was like literally what do i want you for this is horrible service so anyways all i have is the black tie which you know what is enough for me i like this Another scent that I fell in love with recently before I left to Paris is a scent, a friend, a scent called Happy Dust by Narcotica. I just have this little mini sample that I purchased from Scent Split. This is a vanilla scent. It's such a simple vanilla, but there's so many different notes. I was surprised because I actually smelled this before I looked at the notes, but this is like matcha, vanilla, tonka bean, a very simple vanilla scent. I won't go too into depth about this, but it's just one of those scents that I feel like I can just douse myself in and I felt like a sparkly fairy, like it, it felt like I was applying pixie dust and that's probably the name, happy dust, but if you like vanilla scents, this is definitely one that you should, sh should sample and I might get a full size soon once my wallet recovers from the Celine. Oh, another perfume that I want to talk about that's kind of funny was the new Narcotic Delight from um, Inicio. I got this in PR a few weeks ago and I really like it. I made a video on it on TikTok. It was funny because I was walking down the street. I was walking down Rue Saint Honoré, Rue Saint Honoré in Paris and I was walking down the street and I, was, I started smelling this perfume so strongly and I look and I'm walking past the Inicio store and they were diffusing this scent outside. So I went in and asked them and they said, yeah, that's what they were doing. They were diffusing the scent on the street. But yeah, this is another one that I really like. It's a perfect Valentine's Day launch. It's this cherry-like floral, not too heavy, but like addictive scent that you just keep thinking about. There's something kind of resinous about it, like there's myrrh in it, but I don't think there is. And anyways, it's funny because I had only had it for like, not that long, maybe a week, and then I smelled it in the streets. I knew immediately it was this. So this was another one that I really liked lately. You know, it's not my favorite of all favorites, but it was really good. And then finally, I will end this by telling you about two more fragrances that I actually don't have with me, but they were fragrances that I sampled and I can't stop thinking about because they were so good. Um, the first one was from Dipti called Le Papier, which is a paper scent, or the paper. It was a like light, fluffy, musky scent that smelled creamy on my skin. It's funny because a lot of those scents don't really work on me. I never really liked Gossier U. I never really liked Another 13, but this perfume I really, really, really like. It's funny because I did a poll on my Instagram asking you guys tons of questions about fragrances. It was like, what's your favorite for every day? What's your most worn perfume? What are your favorite notes? And my question was like, what's your most worn perfume or what's your favorite perfume for every day was Le Papier. So I knew I had to smell it. You guys have been asking me to smell it on all of my videos. Maybe not all my videos, it's probably, but I get asked to smell it a lot. And so I finally was like, you know what? I'll smell it. I go there, I spray it. And it was kind of one of those reactions where I was kind of like, oh mama, like it... It was really good and I look up the notes and it's like just musk, but there's something about it that is so addictive and fresh and clean and like nice that other skin scents that I've smelled just don't do it like that. They just don't work that way. So this one really worked for me and I loved it. Finally, I will talk about a perfume. This is a perfume called Jeu de Beau from Sergeuton, which was a milky wheat scent that's supposed to smell like a madeleine. Sorry, I like went to Paris for a week and now I'm speaking in a French accent. But it was supposed to smell like a madeleine, like madeleine de Proust or something. I couldn't really understand. Honestly, I was talking to a guy in French and I can't, I can like speak it sort of, but I can't understand when you speak really fast. So he was telling me the story behind it and I was kind of like, okay. Yeah, this is a woody lactonic scent. The notes are wheat, milk, licorice, coconut, immortelle. This is gourmand paradise. He sprayed it for me because I went in there to smell Dondelé, which is a like medley milk scent that I, everyone had been telling me to smell. And I went in there knowing I wouldn't like it. And I smelled it and I was kind of like, oh. And he said it was kind of like supposed to 
smell like how it tastes when you lose a tooth like blood kind of and i was like okay so i told him i like the smell of milk in fragrances i liked like lactonic scents so he immediately took me to this and it's wheat and milk and it's been a minute so i can't really remember it but it always smelled like like sweet oatmeal or something and I, there's something a little fresh to it too i don't know if that was the immortel i'd collected like a ton of samples and the jipo i kept kept smelling it over and over and over for the whole day kept it with me and the next day i could even still smell it really strongly on the paper i think i brought it with me back to canada i don't know if it still smells but it is such a beautiful scent it's the most beautiful gourmand lactonic scent and if i end up coming across a good fortune i might potentially purchase it who knows but it was really fun maybe i'll try to like sample it somewhere but it was gorgeous and i feel so lucky to have even smelled it lately i feel like fragrances have been so predictable for me like especially because i do a lot of research before i go and smell them i feel like the fun has been taken out of fragrances and like discovery for me and i haven't really found anything new and that jeu de beau one really really felt new there was one other fragrance that i will mention too that felt really new to me um and like really surprised me in a new way and that was from diptyque and it actually wasn't a perfume it was the like from the Trogori, which is their um detergent line i used the Trogori house cleaning spray which is the fig smell so i was telling her about how i used that and she was like oh let me show you something else and it was the la Trogorie. it was like a spray on perfume vinegar thing it's like a little wash thing so you can like spray it on if your room smells you can spray it on your sheets she said if you have like a little like spill something on your coat you can like spray this on to like clean it off and it'll like remove any smell so it's like a de-stinking spray i don't know but anyway she sprayed it on a card for me to smell and i've never smelled anything like this it smells like um it was like a little it was tomato leaf basil and mint but to me it smelled like sweet like really sweet she was telling me that has to be the tomato but i was confused like it was really sweet with a bit of green overall the, the scent like the family of the scent was like gardeny and green but it smelled like really sweet and she was telling me that it had to be the tomato and i just i don't know i thought that was really interesting so that was another perfume that was like not even an actual perfume but i don't know it just like made me happy because i never smelled anything like that and fragrance isn't it, it'll never lose its magic but it had become a little predictable and i hadn't been liking perfumes i've been smelling lately and those final two were ones that i like really made me happy and they smelled new which i liked thank you so much for watching my video comment below any fragrances that i should smell i want to know if any of you guys have had similar experiences especially lately if there's any fragrances that you've come across and been like whoa like i really like this let me know and let me know what you want to see in the next video in the meantime please follow me on instagram i'm so bad at plugging my instagram but i would love to connect with you guys on there as well because it's my least least loved platform i do monthly favorites on there which is really cool and it's overall a pretty fun time i also like to pull you guys and ask about things for videos so follow my instagram you guys know my tiktok already thank you much so much for joining me and i'll see you in the next video bye